Hello, hello. Um, I was going to do a review of this book, Snowblind Justice, that I recently finished. Um, this very small, tiny book. Eh, the first knuckle with the limp pinky. Woohoo! Very small book. Um, it is also apparently a book in a uh, world. It's called the Eagle Mountain Murder Mystery. This one's called Winter Storm Wedding. Um, I didn't realize that there was more of those until I recently added it to my Goodreads that I finished it. And then I was like, oh, hey, there's more. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Um, I actually really like this, even though it's a small, tiny little book. I liked it a lot. I liked the characters. I liked the setting. I liked the mystery. I liked the fact that it was kind of like a case to be solved kind of thing. Um, had some... I guess I was going to say more details on certain things, which I guess in a way kind of makes it more adult than the other one. But um, I still liked it. Very enjoyable. I liked, again, I like the characters. I like the whole case thing. So I may look into getting more of those, but for now I'm also getting keeping my eyes out for more of these books that I keep filing at Walmart. They're, I don't know, they have different... Uh, different genres. This one's called Intrigue, and then they also have what edition and what came, what month they came out. Stuff like that. So, sweet beans. And then I also started reading The Haunting of Hill House. Um, I am about quarter, no, third, about a third of the way through. Um, and I am liking this so far. You can definitely tell that it's written in an older style of writing. So it takes me a second sometimes to kind of understand what the heck they're what is necessarily going on. Like there's one moment that completely threw me off, and I'm like, okay, I have to reread that. Um, but it's written in 19 what well, was published in 1959. I don't know exactly what time period this is supposed to be set in. There are cars and electro uh, electricity and plumbing, so I, I would say anywhere from probably early early like 1900 to anywhere to maybe 1940s? I don't know. I mean, it could be around 1959 as well. It just seems a little bit older than 1959. Um, but anyways, it's very interesting. I I like the way that this is set up and how she set it up. It's basically a doctor who is trying to scientifically find evidence of haunting. And he wants to go about it in a scientific way. So what he did was he went through, I don't remember how he started his list, but he compiled a bunch of names together, ruled out the people that were dead, then chose people who had only had supernatural experiences, and then wrote to, I think there were 12 people, only four, only three people responded. So now there's a total of four people in this house. And so far, it's the first night. So, kind of excited to continue that. And yeah, just wanted to give you an update. That's my update. Kind of small. And now onto other things. Today was my day off. I did nothing. But sit and read for a while. This morning, I kind of felt meh. Um, I really didn't want to do much. Kind of wanted to do something, but couldn't. So, um... But, it's not a bad day overall. Drinking some coffee, some water, ate some cheesecake, because cheesecake is too good. Other than that, Red Wings are on right now against the Nashville Predators. Although, I, not that I've been really paying attention, only because I woke up just after it started. So, um, right now the Red Wings aren't doing too hot. I think they're supposed to be like the worst in the league, which is a little unfortunate. Um, but then again, it's also a building year. Other than that, um, yeah, so that's my update. Hope you all are doing great and fabulous, and I guess we shall see what tomorrow brings.